the weather hasn't really improved it's still raining practically every day so i'm headed now to a friend's place to build a ramp so when i was a child i remember making a ramp out of a wooden plank and a few bricks today i'm going to be making a nice little kicker ramp so that i can do some good jumps and the kids can also learn to ride a ramp For more cycling content, don't forget to subscribe. I'm here with Guru and uh, I'm here for a very simple reason. As I told you, I'm interested in making a little kicker ramp for my cycle. Guru is a hobbyist who loves creating things out of wood. And he has a full-fledged workshop. I'll give you a quick walkthrough of this workshop soon. He does a lot of very interesting and innovative work and I have been pushing him to start a YouTube channel. So Guru, are you going to start the YouTube channel? Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so someday I, soon. As he says, soon you, you you should be able to see a nice Indian woodworking channel where someone is creating things by himself. Now let's quickly do a quick walkthrough of few of the tools available here. You'll understand why I've come here to make the ramp. Besides all these tools, the other big plus over here is stash of wood. Guru has been collecting wood for some time now. He collects untreated wood which he treats himself and gets it ready for all his woodworking experiments. Guru by the way is an architect and he does this as a hobby. He loves creating things. He has an Instagram handle. I'm going to be linking it down below here. So if you guys like stuff like this, go ahead and follow him. A lot of the stuff that goes into carpentry, especially woodworking, you have to use your hands, and you need to understand how easy it is, how if it feels right. So a lot of it is touch and feel. And so what you just saw was Guru using his hands to get a feel of how what the difference was between the two boards. and ensuring that they are almost identically one out of the other so that way his work later is reduced a bit extra work now reduces work later Incidentally, while this does look a little dark on the camera, it is it is adequately bright enough. We have enough lights around. It's just that the camera requires a slightly different uh, color temperature. So, right now we're making a template using the original jigsaw which I wanted to use to make the entire thing. We're going to be using it to make a template, and then we use a router to cut out the curve. Fantastic. Well, 
all the cutting is done and now we're going to be assembling the whole thing together finally so let's start off with the assembly This is how it is. This is the inner supports. So the idea, the reason behind having such robust support is that it can handle literally anything thrown at it, and it should be able to send nicely. Now we started work on the KD ramp. So the KD ramp is going to be a nice small ramp with a little jump so that when Papa's doing his jumps, the kids can also try their jumps. Now finally my kicker ramp is ready. We did not do take the easy approach as you guys saw we used a lot of different tools. All thanks to him. He wanted to use the a few of the tools which were there in his place, and but overall a really nice solid ramp. Now can't wait to head home along with the junior ramp, and me and my son are going to be doing jumps. I got back home and it wasn't raining so I set up the ramps and I ended up casing the first jump because I wasn't used to the ramp but the second and third was much better I guess I'm gonna need a lot of practice to ensure that I can do these jumps nicely Once I was done with my jumps, the kids enjoyed themselves. It takes a little bit of practice, but hey, practice makes perfect. Well guys, until next time, safe ride everyone.